Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing this 2011 Toyota Paso. It's got 86,000 uh, kilometers on it, which is about 53,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show you the features inside. I'm sorry for this gigantic piece of concrete. But we do encourage you to uh, um, please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the financing. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Soda Paso is a five-passenger vehicle in the uh, 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about 55 bucks right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame, so we'll take care of it for you the rest of this year, which means up until April, May time frame, and then it's on you to get the uh, new one in April and May, okay? They do have the option to pay for it. First one being U.S. dollars cash out right, which could get you a larger discount, or you can take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Totally up to you. Before we go inside, it was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is going to be a cross ventilation. Get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. So let's, let's jump on in. You see the stitching on this? This is actually pretty cool. First time we've had one of these orange ones, okay? Okay, so let's show you the features in here. Uh, but first, let's uh, start it, okay? So uh, key fob on your person, and you just go ahead and crank it over as if as if a key was in there. If the key fob battery dies, you can pull this key out and insert it in, uh, into the ignition just like normal, okay? Let me uh, go like that. Okay, show you a couple of warning lights. Let's show the, the flashing one, obviously there is your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do get tickets on and off base. Then that uh, um, green one there, that is your temperature gauge. It's, uh, so it's going to be green when the engine's cool. When the engine warms up, it's going to go away. Then it'll be red if it's overheating. Be going to look at that for that. And you see the silhouette of that uh, to the top left. And then to the bottom of it, that circular one is your emergency brake. Okay, it's not a low pressure tire gauge. All right, so it is a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage it, goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And you can see all the other silhouettes of the warning lights. Okay, anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Okay. Off to the left here, you do have your radio. Uh, this one is password protected, so we're going to have to uh, get that unlocked by Toyota. Uh, I'm not sure if this has a back camera or not, okay? Um, then you have your radio controls, your shifter. This is on the column. A uh, little uh, compartment here for some storage, two cup holders, uh, power outlet, okay? And a grocery bag hook that's up to three kilograms. That's about six and a half pounds. It doesn't have a traditional uh, glove box. It just has, has that area right there. And then you do have a little bit of uh, storage and cup holder on each side. Okay, it's not going to hold an American uh, cup or anything like that. Uh, that is your passenger space over there. You get your red roof flare hanging out. Then let me back this up. This is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down right now. Uh, I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm comfortable right, right where I am, or I might be able to slide this up an inch or two if need be. All right, that's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Go all the way back. I like to take this time to show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Non-accident vehicle from mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars. We can for every single one. All right. Uh, so this is graded number four from the auction with a C and B for the exterior interior. Okay. So it's a really, really good grade. Uh, nice, clean car. That's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. Uh, so you can see for yourself. We'll actually give that to you. Uh, before I forget, it does have this armrest here uh, with a compartment in there for some storage. And then you can put that up, and it is a bench seat. It is not a three-passenger up front. It's just two-passenger, but you can put that down. And again, I'm going to draw your attention to this. This is actually really nice. You know, all that, um, um, I guess it's peach color, maybe orange, but uh, nice peach accents all in here, okay? So let's uh, turn this off. I'm going to have to go around to the other side to show you the uh, space in the back, since this thing is kind of in the way, but I'm going to show you the trunk area first. And this is the, uh, the, the Plus Hana edition. So it's just a little fancier, okay? So you see uh, your space back here. Now these seats uh, can go f uh, flat. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of space back here once they're flat. But these, uh, you gotta pull up and they go down. There's a little tab on each side right here uh, on, the, on the front side. So that goes up and down and then these will go flat, all right? But really, really nice space. And these are very economical as well. It even has like the, the gold uh, handles here, really nice. All right. 
going in the back here. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm about an inch away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, on the uh, Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the pass seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it, okay? And then no storage on the door panels or anything else like that. Now, just real quick, I'm not sure if this is going to pick it up. You see all these lines? It looks like it, it's like wet marks. That's actually the design of this. So don't try to uh, clean it <laughs> because that's how it is. All right, and I forgot to show you... <laughs> I forgot to show you the uh, other features here real quick. Sorry, I was on vacation last month. That's what happens. All right, so off to the right here, you do have your mirror controls. And this this little guy right there, that's gonna control the angle of your headlights. So if it's a foggy morning, you wanna see the street a little better, that's where you're gonna angle it. Then below here, oops, you do have an ETC reader. That's an electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here. And then you do have your hood release right underneath that and then please don't forget on the uh, floor here you do have your gas cover release okay all right and then on the door panel you do have your uh mirror control uh mirror you have your window controls and this will control the door locks all right so now let's go up front we'll show you the uh, engine compartment then we'll wrap this video up all righty and there you have it the one liter engine nice and clean and there you go 2011 uh, Toyota Paso. Uh, this is the plus Honda edition. 86,000 kilometers on it, which is about 53,000 miles. Military price goes down to 4,900. The additional military discount will get it down to 4,700. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4,700 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty. The 2022 road tax, the rem remainder of this, again, you got to pay that in April or May. And then the. Um, 10% uh, sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Uh, touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But definitely, uh, we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out their mileage, check out the condition of the cars, but definitely stop by Johnny's Used Cars. Let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Stop by by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash out rate. Take advantage of 0% finance of 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.